Greetings everyone, my name is Edgarville, and welcome back to my let's play of Skellboy Refractured. Continuing on from the last episode, we are following the Orc's Pan of Destruction. That gives me the Goomba Stomping ability, but I'd rather have the Float Shoes. Oh no. We're back at the throne room. Nice! I figured all this out thanks to the gallery slash cutscene viewer, all available in the hero script. I was really curious why there was a gap in the cutscene viewer. Wait, how are you levitating? I'm gonna visit the library first, then the graveyard. We need to sort out Blaze Mace's conundrum. Wait, wait, I want to talk with you. You're back at ground level. It's nice to be back on a route with steady progress. I'm wielding her right now. That'll probably happen in about two or three weeks, Jaden. Then I'll beat the roguelike dungeon. Get you some clothes? Fine with me. We'll probably have to defeat a boss along the way too. Back here. Of course. I knew the books would start attacking me. In many games where there's a magical library, the books start attacking you. I 
I lost my head when I equipped the bomb head and it exploded. Someone turn off the lights. I need a translation guide for that. for a speed boost. The plot? That's rather on the nose. of you. <laughs> Among us, here too? I doubt it's unbreakable. The fourth wall was simply shattered there, directly referencing and riffing on this game's plot, as well as referring to two other games by name. Anyways, here's the crystal sword. Definitely better than my previous one. It has a tree strike combo. Two slashes, then an overhead swing. There was a rough patch in this game, taking place between the farmlands, barracks, and the beach. But now that I've passed that hurdle, it's gotten far more enjoyable. Protect the Candleman.
Essentially, this is a tier 4 sword. I still have a rip cage. The Squirrel Namacon? Wait, wait, come back with us. I suppose it's an escort mission, but this candle man seems to be invulnerable. Aha! Uh -huh. A sun dragon? Could this be Skippy? That's suspicious too. I've now rescued 50% of the NPCs, and before I turned on the switch, this place was non-Euclidean. Speaking of the plot, that explains where all the monsters came from, and why they stopped appearing for a while. It appears this is the lore-heavy episode of the Let's Play. More and more, this is reminding me of a Zelda title, albeit far more simplistic. Aha, I knew it. I just grabbed the cloak and ran back, completely overlooking the switch here. Now I should be able to hit all these switches. It feels strange not hearing any music for this library. Easy fix. Hopefully we can resolve Blaze Mace's predicament by the end of the stream.
No, another one of you. Squaraman again. First, let's deal with this rabble. At last, the head. Now the battle. Or not. These plants have gotten an upgrade. Now that I've cut the chains, what does that do? What does this do? What happened to you, ma'am? Ah, so the chains are anchoring his ritual. We've been there before. Are you taking care of that one? So like the Major Zelda dungeons, we already taken care of the one in this greenhouse. But I can't reach the one in the windmill just yet. Anyways, it's off to the graveyard. However, I'll save that for the next episode. Something major is likely going to happen at the graveyard, seeing how Squirrel Man has set up shop there. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.